What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Pieces Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, bonus reading for Sign of Pisces for June of 2022. This is if you have Pisces in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, will send me a name to check your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,175 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support this year. If you'd like to donate, it's Hyphen 605. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I do not publicly display your name or um, how much you, well, your name if you choose to donate. Okay. So this could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate, two may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Only you know your particular story and situation, so you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates and applies and fits for your own situation. Let's get one more. Spirit messages you have silence. I did receive one channeling as um, I was meditating on your energy, Pisces. And um, the channel message I received was um, someone has been uh, putting um, confusion spells um, on a Piscean. I heard they've been, um, there has been strange cobwebs um, around an apartment complex and a single dwelling home. It'd be very, very, very smart to... Um, remove them immediately because it is uh, a form of the black magic. For one Piscean, they are doing this. So you plug it in, how it resonates, some kind of confusion spells, somebody's been putting on somebody. I don't know if it's a warlock or a dark arts uh, witch or spiritualist or who, however, or whatever. But um, one of you guys, they're doing it to you. It sounds like at least two of you guys. One I heard in an apartment complex. One in um, a single dwelling home. One, you're doing it to somebody. So actually three of you guys. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard confusion spells and they're, whoever's doing this um, to you guys, whether you're in the apartment complex or the uh, single dwelling family home, it's manifesting in your own 3D reality, apparently, as cobwebs. Uh, very thick cobwebs. Very thick cobwebs is what I heard. So it's manifesting in your own physical 3D reality is very thick cobwebs either around your apartment complex or um, single dwelling home. Bushes and windows. Bushes and windows is what I just heard. Bushes and windows. So some of, if you feel that resonates with you, I would check your bushes and your windows because apparently at least two of you guys have some very, very, very thick cobwebs um, around your apartment complex or your single dwelling home. Um, I didn't hear duplex or condo or nothing like that. So how that resonates. But um, apparently it's due to black magic. Somebody's putting, some heavy dark arts person is putting black magic on you. For strategic reasons, and it'd be very smart to um, to go, I mean, if you feel that resonates with you, to remove them. Because it's part of a confusion spell, apparently. And whoever is doing this, I think they're very, very skilled at doing this. Uh, because that's, I don't know, I don't practice on dark arts, I never have. But that sounds like some high level shit, if you ask me. I mean, they're so much so they're manifest, physically manifesting things in the damn 3D to come, I mean, dear God. So... If you've been noticing um, cobwebs around your window or window sills or your bushes and you live in an apartment or a single dwelling home and you feel that might resonate with you, I would, um, you know, I'd remove them. But, of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Somebody needs to be careful. Okay. I encourage everyone to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well. Uh, from additional message or messages if they may apply for you. Number 18 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 18, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 18. 
Okay, we have lizard, whale, marriage, butterfly, a change for the better, gavel, involvement with the law, anxiety, and volcano. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, another water sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. If you are, Pisces, Lizard. A Gemini is about to become very, very, very significant in a Piscean's life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Okay, I heard a Gemini is about to become very significant in a Piscean's life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Summons a collaboration. Summons a customer. Summons a collaboration and summons a customer. So, um, heavy Gemini energy in here. Um, they have Gemini in any aspects or, of their chart. Summons a collaboration with the Gemini. It could go positively or negatively. Summit is a um, customer. It sounds like of yours. Um, whether you work out in a 3D workspace or you have a business. Um, I feel that could go positive or negative. They're coming in as a lizard energy. Um, so, you know, lizards change their, um, they change to adapt to their environment. So I think this, um, Gemini is a shape, shapeshifter. I think they're a shapeshifter and they're adapting to their environment. This is exactly what I think. Whether they are a customer of yours or they, um, you know, a 3D workspace or a business or they are, um, um, what was the other one? The other one. Some your baby mama, some your baby daddy. Some your baby mama and some your baby daddy. So for some your baby mama, some your baby daddy. And for one, you're about to learn about their new person soon. And for one of you guys, you're about to learn about their new person soon. And for one, it's an investigator. And one, it's an investigator. Ooh. So you've got a, a lot of Gemini energy in your energy field, or you're about to. Uh, one, it's an investigator. One, it's a baby mama, baby daddy. One, it's a, a customer. Um, the list goes on. So, but... However, that resonates. Uh, one is undercover cop. One is undercover cop. My God, they just keep coming. So, however, that resonates. They are good at ad adapting to their environment. Whoever these people are, they're good at ad adapting to their environment, and um, they're very good at adapting to their environment. Because lizards change themselves, like shape shifting energy, change themselves to adapt to environments. Um, so that's really beautiful. Oh, uh, it's beautiful energy for them. It could go either positive or negative for you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Um, for one of you guys, you're about to learn about your uh, baby mama or baby daddy's new person. Um, uh, forewarning for one of you guys. Well. A particular Piscean is about to be a, a huge power play mover soon. Protecting force. Over a feminine energy, they felt they should have done this a long time ago. Okay, Pisces, if that resonates for you. Masculine energy. Masculine energy. Okay, so you're masculine energy and you're about to be a huge protecting force. I heard over a Fem energy, you felt you should have been a huge protecting force over um, in the past, but basically it did not happen. You did not pursue it. You did not go forward. Something happened, what have you, what have you, but you did not do it. Now you're about to do it is what it sounds like. Um, 
if this is you taking on the whale energy and this message or messages, um, if this resonates and applies for you, you're about to take on the whale energy. Uh, protecting energy over the seas. Uh, whales are very, prote they're protectors of the seas. They're very highly respected in the seas, in the waters, and um, very well respected and protectors, protectors, protector, protector of the ocean, of the waters. So I think you're about to take on the whale energy, Quartz's Fem energy. Um, I, it sounds like you have regrets of it in the past. You did not do it in the past, um, but you're about to make power play moves to do this. If this resonates for you, um, Pisces masculine, if that resonates. Marriage. A Pisces is about to find out who the real father is of twins. A Pisces is about to find out who the real father is of twins, is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. One of you guys is about to find out who the real father is of twins. Um, so they're not your twins, if this resonates for you, it's somebody else's twins, um, but you're about to find out who the real father of the twins is. So I think somebody's been lying to you, um, about who the real father is, and there's about to be a paternity test, or there already has been a paternity test, and you're about to find out who the real father is. Um, how that resonates, it's obviously not you, if that resonates, marriage, A Pisces plumber is about to meet the love of their life. A Pisces plumber is about to meet the love of their life, is what I heard. Wow, that's beautiful, Pisces. Um, you're a Pisces plumber. You're about to meet the love of your life, uh, sir, ma'am, if that resonates for you. I think you're going to want to marry them. Um, you haven't met them yet. You're about to. Masculine energy, Pisces. She's very sweet and very up your lane. And you're going to end up paying it forward to a feminine energy of your past. I heard she's very sweet and very up your lane. And um, it sounds like after you, you haven't met her yet. She's very sweet and very up your lane. And basically once you meet her... Um, I heard you're going to end up paying it forward to a femme energy of your past. So that could be the well energy too, possibly. Um, or in the well energy of your new woman, um, if that resonates for you, Pisces, Ma Pisces masculine plumber. Um, that's beautiful. Um, that's really beautiful, sir, if that resonates for you. Um, it sounds like you're going to want to marry her. Um, it sounds like she is definitely a catch, and she's definitely up your lane, and she's very sweet, and it sounds like you guys... Um, will be a good compatible match. I feel like matchmaker in here. You have not met her yet. I do not know any other um, details on her, um, but congrats when you do meet her. I think you will feel, I think you'll know it, um, is what I think. I think you'll know it when you meet her. Um, and I heard, it sounds like once you realize you're compatible with her, maybe you ask her out is what I'm feeling. Maybe you're going to ask her out. Ask her on a date and treat her nice. I mean, my God, everybody deserves that. If she is the, you, highly intuitive Pisces. Highly intuitive. Okay, so you're highly intuitive. So you're going to know she's sweet. You're going to know she's the real deal. You're going to know she's the one for you is what I feel. Please treat her right. Of course, you can take the messages or leave them, sir. But, Pisces plumber, but. Nobody likes to stay with anybody, man or woman, if they're not treated correctly. And that's just the truth, okay? So, I would treat her right. Because she's not, you know, if you, it looks like your intention is wanting to marry her. So, if you really want to marry her and you don't want to divorce down the line, please treat her right. Just saying. I mean, you seem like a very high vibrational being over here. So, I think you will. But, um... You know, if anybody needs to hear that from 38-year-old woman that's lived a lot of life, I'm just saying, okay? I'm um, just saying, just saying. I feel you have very good intentions there. Um, you're highly intuitive. I think you're very smart. And um, 
congrats when this happens. It hasn't happened yet. Um, you haven't met her yet. But I heard once you do, you're going to pay it forward to a fem energy of your past. So that's beautiful. Butterfly, a change, and that, that could be the change for the better. Um, you haven't met this um, sweet feminine energy yet, Pisces plumber. You're all, we're all about you for a minute, but you haven't met her yet. But I think it's going to be a change for the better. And I think whoever has these dark ass cobwebs, thick cobwebs, either on your single dwelling home or your apartment, I think once you get those removed, that's going to be a change for the better too. And I'm just being for real. Okay, sorry. My neighbor has having a lot of work done on her home today, and they keep parking over by my, uh, in front of mine, so I just get a little confused. Um, make sure it's not for me. So, 555 energy, a change for the better. A Piscean is about to cut off a very toxic karmic relationship. Very toxic karmic relationship. Water sign manipulator. Fire sign manipulator. Okay, a Pisces is about to cut off a very karmic relationship. Um, some of you guys with a water sign manipulator, some with a fire sign manipulator. So, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag manipulator. Um, I feel you can be masculine or feminine, but it's a karmic relationship, so they do not mean well for you. Whoever you are and how this applies. Um, I feel for some, you could be sneaky links, third parties, situationships, etc., etc., etc. But however that resonates, you're about to identify them as being not good for you, i.e. the karmic energy, and you're about to cut them off is what I feel, and it's going to be a change for the better for you. Um, so um, kudos to you. I heard it's a fire sign or a water sign. They're very, they're huge manipulators. So Aries Leo Sage manipulator or a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio manipulator. And that could be the energy up here as well, possibly. Gavel involvement with the law. A sex tape is about to come out in a court situation soon. A sex tape is about to come out in a court situation soon. Okay, that's all I heard. A sex tape is about to come out in a court situation soon. So I think it's going to help you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, if this resonates for you, um, I think it's going to help you because we have the change for the better. Unless you're in this sex tape and you don't want it to come out. Only you know if you've been in sex tapes or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't know, you guys. Only you know if you've been having sex or not. So you plug it in how it resonates, but it's, uh, it sounds like it's soon, upcoming in a court situation. So you, only you know if you're having sex or not. Only you know if you're around crazy ass people that like to implant creepy voyeur cameras um, or not. Only you know if you free willingly consented to sex tapes or not. Only you know if you swing or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or not, okay? Gavel involvement with the law. A very high vibrational Pisces masculine is about to call the cops on a very serious situation of the past. Very manipulative karmic couple. Very manipulative. Uh, Scorpio and Pisces karmic couple. Is about to create many, 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 many positive series of chain events for a psychic and her family and for this Pisces masculine. 
heavy Pisces masculine energy in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so a Pisces masculine is about to call the cops um, regarding uh, a karmic couple. I heard the karmic couple is a Pisces femme and a Scorpio masculine. Um, but you, Pisces masculine, you're about to call the cops on the karmic couple. The uh, Scorpio masculine and Pisces femme, you're about to call on them um, regarding some very serious situation of the past. Heard it's going to benefit you and a psychic and her family in a huge way. So it sounds like you're about to help yourself and help the psychic and her family by creating a series of chain events against this karmic couple is what it sounds like here. I heard a Scorpio masculine and a Pisces femme karmic couple, and I think that's going to be a change for the better for you. Um, it's what I'm feeling, sir, if that resonates for you. Um, so in this aspect, you're creating the series of chain events with the law. You are in a positive way to transmute the energy to benefit you. And it sounds like this psychic and her family. Um, if this resonates for you, sir. About to transmute the energy in a huge way. About to transmute the energy in a huge way is what I heard. About to transmute the energy in a huge way. Will you go with your bad self, sir? So you are about to call the cops. Um, that's beautiful. And a change for the better. There's about to be a search warrant issued soon. There's about to be a search warrant issued soon is what I heard. About to be a search warrant issued. So I feel you could be the one, um, you could be the one creating the series of chain of events to issue the search warrant, or you could be the one having the search warrant issued on you. How would that resonate? Energy should be reversed. But there's about to be a search warrant issued soon. Um, so that's involvement with the law, too, whether you are helping create the search warrant um, to be issued on person, people, place, or situation, or you are having it issued on you, um, or you know of someone that's about to have a search warrant issued. How that resonates? Oh, Lord. And after a Leo Feminine learns important information, she is going to put a protection order on several people, including one very toxic Piscean Feminine doppelganger. It is about to piss off this Piscean Femme doppelganger, but she should have known it was coming. Okay, I heard it. And after a Leo Fem learns important information, she's going to put... Um, protection orders, I heard on a Piscean Femme doppelganger and several people. Um, I heard it's going to piss off this Piscean Femme doppelganger and apparently, I guess, the other people. But um, I heard the Piscean Femme doppelganger should know it was coming. So um, protection order energy with the, with the police, with the law, you plug it in how it resonates. And a very significant court, um, court child custody battle is about to come to a head soon within the next two weeks and another one within the next month. Very significant. Okay, so child custody battle energy. Um, there's at least two of these in the universe. You have to plug them in how it resonates. It could be you in the middle of this child custody battle um, or working the case of the child custody battle or um, or knowing somebody in this child custody battle, however it resonates. I heard one of them within the next two weeks. Um, sounds like it's about to come to the head, come to a head in court of law, and one within the next month. So we're at June 23rd, 2022 right now. So two weeks would be July 7th, and then um, a month would be uh, July 23rd. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Two very significant child custody battles. However, they apply in your life. Pisces. Anxiety.
A vehicle breaking down is very significant in a Piscean's life. And a vacation is very significant in a Pisces life. A vehicle breaking down and a vacation is very significant in a Pisces life. Beach. Beach is what I heard. So some kind of vacation to the beach. Whether you're going, you've already taken the vacation on the beach or you're about to or somebody you're connected to is. Some kind of vacation on a beach is very significant in Pisces life and um, a vehicle breaking down. Whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to's vehicle. Um, I think it gives somebody anxiety that the vehicle is broken down, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to's vehicle. And the vacation on the beach, I don't think is anxiety. I think it's relieving anxiety, or at least God, I'd hope so. Um, unless there's drama on the um, vacation. I don't know. I don't like drama, period. Uh, much less on my vacations, but I'm not anybody else. So um, however that resonates, um, I feel that might be anxiety reverse for a lot of you guys, but for some, it might be anxiety upright if there's something crazy going on on vacation. Um, how that resonates. Medication upage is about to become significant in a Piscean's life. Anxiety medication. Okay, medication upage uh, is about to become significant in a Pisces life. Uh, medication upage is what I heard. So some kind of anxiety medication. There's several of them out there. So um, if it's not you, Pisces, it could be a Pisces you're connected to. But some Pisces out there in the universe is about to get their anxiety medicine up. Um, how that resonates and applies in whatever um, Pisces life. Um, I know the anxiety medications because I'm a nurse. I've been around them for a long time, but I don't take any medicine. So I can't, I can think of a couple off the top of my head, but whatever anxiety medicine that is. Volcano. Child Protective Services is about to become very significant in a Piscean's life. One, you're going to call Child Protective Services. One, you're getting Child Protective Services to come to your home. Neglect and abuse. Oh, dear Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to call Child Protective Services, and one, you're about to have Child Protective Services come to your home. So you have to plug yourself in how you resonate. Are you the one about to call Child Protective Services? Are you the one about to have Child Protective Services come to your home? Only you know what you're going to do, not anybody else. But however that resonates, CPS energy, um, Child Protective Service energy. Um, I think I heard no, abuse and neglect. So dear Lord. So volcano energy, um, explosions of temper and anxiety, I'm presuming, and involvement with the law could be that as well if the police get involved. Um, if it's that serious, how that resonates, um, just, that's terrible. I hope some, I hope, I hope child protective services is not, will be used in a positive aspect in this manner. Uh, and I'm serious, not abusive power kind of way. I hope it, it creates a change for the better. If there needs to be a change is what I'm trying to say. I heard abuse and neglect. Um, so I think there is a child or children out there being abused, abused and neglected, truly abused and neglected, not Somebody just saying they are, if that makes sense. Oh, my Lord. So, um, that's terrible. I hope somebody gets these children some help. I mean, I'm serious. And a very significant orgasm is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Mind-blowing. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. That's a good one. And a very significant orgasm is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Mind-blowing. So, mind-blowing orgasmic, creating like a volcano inside yourself. Boom. Well, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I just watched a naughty video before coming in here and channeling. So, um, and it created a very nice orgasm. So, I mean, you go with your bad self, sir, ma'am, whoever that's for. You should get it, whether you get it with somebody or get it with your a device or your finger or video. Get it, get it, get it. Just say it. Get it, girl. Get it, dude. Whoever you are. Mind blowing, orgasmic, volcano style orgasm. You go with your bad self.
A significant item found in someone's home soon. Some by a Pisces, some not by a Pisces. It's about to create many series of chain of events. About to lead it to exposure of their family. Okay, well, that's very broad. So you plug it in how it resonates. A very significant item found in someone's home. Some by a Pisces it's going to be found by. Some not by a Pisces. So it's at least two situations in the universe. Uh, it sounds like soon. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. It hasn't been found yet, but it's about to be. Some is going to be found by a Pisces. Some is not going to be found by a Pisces. But however that resonates, it's going to be found in someone's home. It's going to lead to a series of chain of events to exposure of their family. So they have some kind of toxic family, and I think it's going to lead to fights or explosions or some kind of um, chaos and conflict kind of energy um, on a negative scale. I think they might, oh, I wonder if it's a hidden camera. I didn't hear it was, but I wonder if it is. It's something negative that some, it sounds like somebody's toxic family has implanted in a family member's home. But it's about one Pisces is about to find it. One of you guys is about to find it or somebody you're connected to. And one of you guys, you're not going to find it. I think you're going to hear about it. I think it's going to lead to involvement with the law is what I think and a change for the better. For one, it is a hidden camera. Oh my God. For one, it's a hidden camera. For one, it is a dark arts altar. For one, it is a hidden camera. One is a dark arts altar. And one, it is evidence on a device regarding Secret 7. And one, it is evidence on a device regarding Secret 7. Oh, my God. So one is, oh, my God. One, it's a hidden camera. One, it is, um, what was the other one? Um, you have to go back and check it. One, it was a hidden camera. I can forget the second one. And the third one, it was, uh, Evidence on a device regarding Secret 7. So I think, and it will be saved, screenshotted and saved. And it will be screenshotted and saved. Oh my God. I don't know if it's going to be on an iPad or a computer or a phone or what have you, what uh, email. I'm not sure, but somebody's about to find some evidence regarding Secret 7. One is a hidden camera and you'll have to go back and check the third one. I think it's going to lead to tempers and fights, and I think the law is going to get called. It's going to create many, 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 many series of chain of events. Many. It's going to create basically a shit ton of series of chain of events. Many. So um, whatever the many series of chain of events it is, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. A wrongful termination lawsuit is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. And it will be very successful, know this. A wrongful termination lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Pisces. Lawyer! Lawyer. I heard, oh, lawyer. Um, so I feel you could be a lawyer, a Piscean lawyer, or you're going to a lawyer. However, that resonates. Um, so, kind of wrongful termination lawsuit in a Pisces life is about to become very significant. I heard it's going to be very, uh, very um, successful um, lawyer. So, I feel you could be a lawyer about to take on this wrongful termination lawsuit um, or communicate to somebody about uh, information regarding wrongful termination and a lawsuit or something of that nature. I heard lawyer. So, I feel for one, you might be a lawyer. For one, you might go to a lawyer if you have been wrongfully terminated and you have some kind of significant information and evidence that could help win your case. How that resonates. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else.
Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful day. Namaste.